action thriller mystery drama on OCN, starring Kyung Ki Young as Kim Soo Kyung. This is an elite assassin who's become a veterinarian. When he was young, he lost all his memories. He's raised by a non-Korean killer named Pavel. He went through hardship to survive and became the world's best killer. Now, Kyung Ki Young gained in popularity, of course, with his acting in Come and Hug Me. He is choosing his roles very meticulously, and I am confident that he can handle this one. Also starring Na Na as Do Hyung Jin, now, she's an excellent detective who is focusing, of course, on saving people. Her background is fairly murky at this point, but there is reference to her being a ballerina, which would indicate a certain amount of wealth. Nana takes on this lead role for the very first time in her drama career. Episode one begins with a training session, a Russian by the name of Pavel, that is David Lee McInnes. Yeah, he's one of my favorite supporting actors of all time. You gotta check him out. He's training a young boy in a wooded area. We learn of the three rules. I have a weird feeling we'll be hearing a lot about them over the course of this drama. Rule number one, never reveal the client's identity. Rule number two, never keep the witness alive. And rule number three, stay alive. This boy fails his instruction because he refuses to shoot a dog that has come into the clearing and he is tied to a tree for the evening to fend for himself as a punishment. The story then jumps ahead to 2017 in Busan. We see this boy and he's now grown up. We later are going to know that he is Kim Soo Hyung, uh, played by Jung Ki Young. Of course, getting ready and he's putting in color contacts to hide his unnaturally blue eyes. When I say unnaturally blue, I mean unnaturally blue. In his home, there is an older Pavel. He senses that he's being spied on. He peeks out the window. He finds a suspicious man camping out. He runs downstairs to the basement to kill the intruder. It turns out it's Su Kyung, who asks if Pavel has forgotten him again. He yells at Pavel to stop shooting. Pavel demands to know who sent him. And Su Kyung manages to hold Pavel down and choke him out until he passes out. In the middle of the night, Pavel leaves to complete their mission as Pavel aims his sniper in at the target. Uh, he's about to pull the trigger and his hands begin to tremble and he loses the target. Now, Su Kyung appears to save his father, but he is too late. Pavel is dying. He winds up blowing up the house, but he does leave a witness. Uh-oh, not good. Rule number two again. The scene changes and we have an older man who is hunting game. He's standing on the edge of this cliff with a gun and he's aiming at a deer. And immediately, Su Hyung, he flies out of nowhere with a lasso and he hits the man on the leg, flinging him off the cliff. Now, I don't really understand the physics of how this would possibly work, but the editing was clean and it was exciting. Hats off to them. Then we have the entrance of Do Hyung Jin. Uh, played by Nana, she arrives at the scene to investigate the point where President Yu had fallen from. She uncovered the leaves and found these parallel drag marks uh, where he was clearly dragged off the cliff. She is now claiming that President Yu is a victim of a serial killer. While driving, Hyung Jin accidentally hits a cat on the road and gingerly carries the injured cat to her car. She remembers this rude vet she encountered and she speeds off to steal Hyung's vet clinic, unknowingly coming face to face with the wanted killer. The only thing that would turn me off from this drama right now would be to find out that Do Hyung Jin and Su Hyung are actually long lost brother and sister. You know, they're both from Russia, they're roughly the right age, both are chasing a tragedy, there was a boy and a girl in the mysterious ripped up photograph. Please, no, OCN, I'm begging you, not that. This has been ESL Media, thank you for watching.